Hello everyone, we will continue the topic persistence class and in the previous video, we gave some name to the persistence class, which is starting with CL. After that, we clicked on to the button. If you remember, we clicked on to go to persistence representation. We gave the name of our order header table and all columns of the database table is appearing here. Now we are creating a persistence class for this particular table, for this particular order header table. Now we will move these columns to the upper portion, upper portion, how we will move. Just simply select and we have a button here. Okay, just move. Now go for second, go for third, go for fourth, go for fifth. So we all columns, we moved to the upper portion of the table. And have you seen order number is the primary key of the table. Order number is the primary key of the table. It is clearly written. It is key attribute. Now we will go for save. We are saving. Now we will go for back button. And once we will go for back button, the most important conclusion and which is very, very useful when we will use in the coding. Now, whenever you are creating a persistence class, have you seen previously we have only these five methods available which came from this particular interface. Now, have you seen we got this additional methods? Every method is instance type and every method is public. And have you seen these are our columns of the table? What are our columns of the table? Order number. Then we have what order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. So for all these columns, we got these methods and simple word if I will say for each and every column, for every column of the table, SAP is giving getter and setter methods. These all are your getter and setter methods. Now the most important point here. Have you seen? For order number, for order number, we have only get method. There is no set method. For other columns, we have getter and setter both. Just see, we have get method for currency. We have set method for currency. We have get method for order date. We have set method for order date. Similarly, for payment mode, get set. Similarly, for total amount, get set. But for that order number, order number, we have only, only get method. And the reason behind is order number is the primary key of the table. Just simple understanding. You can only, only get the primary key. How you can set the primary key? Just suppose simple understanding. Okay. I have a employee ID in the organization. For throughout my career, my employee ID will never, never change. I can always or other people can always get my details through employee ID. But we can never, never set the employee ID. We can change other things. Yes, I can change my first name, last name, whatever I want to add. But employee ID, we can never, never change. Same thing is here. Yes, order number once created, you cannot change the order number. Yes, order number is the primary key of the table. So for order number, we have only, only get method. 
for other things we have getter and setter both most important point from the interview perspective yes whenever we are creating persistence class sap generates getter and setter methods for the primary key fields for the key fields only getter method for the non primary key fields getter and setter both methods will generate now whenever i will activate the class sap will generate two helper classes again important point whenever you are creating persistence class sap generate two helper classes automatically we will not create these classes sap automatically create these two helper classes and what are those two helper classes those are c a and c b c a is called as actor class or agent class and c b is called as base class we will not create sap automatically generate and many time in the interviewer interviewer asks the question what are the co helper classes for persistence class co helper classes so co helper classes are ca and cb ca is your actor class or agent class cb is your base class so co helper means two helper classes now i will simply simply activate whenever i will activate sap will generate two helper classes i will activate and i will get a pop up also do you want to activate the class actor just see it is asking should the class actor should also be activated yes we will activate so our actor class and base class automatically generated now how we can check the name of those actor class and base class just simply simply copy the name and rather than cl use the word ca rather than cl use the word cb suppose if i will go to sc24 now i will use the word ca zca underscore order underscore details order header sorry i gave order head and have you seen i have not created this class it's automatically created this is your agent class or actor class and similarly we have base class also zcb order header base agent for base agent so these two helper classes automatically generated and we are not creating these classes one with ca and another with cb so what is the summary of the video in this video we after giving the name of the table after giving the name of the table we simply move the columns to the upper portion of the table we saved once we saved the most important part arrived that sap generated the getter and setter method for the columns of the table for the primary columns only getter for the non primary column getter and setter both whenever you are creating or whenever you are creating a persistence class whenever i activated two helper classes automatically generated one with ca and another with cb ca is called as actor class or agent class cb is called as base class and they are called as co helper classes 
Now, in the next video, we will use these classes in our program because ultimately we need to develop a program with the help that program. We will use these classes to perform the database operation, insert, update, and delete. So that's it in this video. Thank you.